Welcome back to your soon-to-be favorite podcast. I'm Angelica. And I'm Kelsey. And this is Here We Grow. Everybody, guess what? It's our pot anniversary. Shit, we didn't even, we didn't even practice that. <laughs> We're just that good. I mean, we've been good since day one. Honestly, we both went back and listened to our first episode, and we're like the bomb.com. We're fucking awesome. I don't know why y'all don't know that. Um, <laughs> But we made notes on that, and we're going to talk about that today. So, happy Potiversary Happy to Potiversary! Yay! We released our first episode on April 16th. Mm-hmm. So, this will be coming out on April 16th. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's been a year. Crazy. Um, this is our 46th episode. And then we have three bonuses, I believe. Or four. Three or four bonuses. I don't remember. Okay. I don't need to know right now, but we'll talk some other stats later that I collected. And um, yeah, we're going to talk about the podcast as a whole and what our goals are for next year and read some stuff that you guys have been sending us and Mm -hmm. just celebrate uh, sticking to this for a year. I can't fucking believe it's been a year. But let me tell y'all, it is 1147 and we have just started. (laughs) It's been a long evening of it's distractions. Been a fun evening, okay. It has been a fun evening. You're right. You're right. You're right. What have we done? We went to the store. We made chili. We got stuff to make chili. We got a cake for tonight, which we'll show you guys in a little bit. And we got balloons. And we came back. We made chili. We watched the end of the Pacers game, which was horrible. So disappointing. But we'll get the next one. And we hung out outside for a little bit and then we came inside and we played karaoke or we played karaoke we karaoke angelica has a mini karaoke machine it's like a bluetooth speaker and oh it's so cool it's the most fun i've ever had in my entire life we we knew we were supposed to be recording the podcast and i kept saying okay we have to get to the podcast she's like one more song Wait, one more song one it more was song. fun though it was fun it's addicting like once you get on the microphone you just start singing you just keep going yeah, I was telling her that, like, this is so her, like, being able to just belt all over the house by herself and sing, and it's a different kind of freedom. Yeah. So, we got a good episode ahead of us, and if we have time at the end, we're going to play a game. A new game we've never played before. We should have time. At the- we should just do it anyway. Yeah, just a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so do we want to jump into, uh, what we got? Do we have a quote of the week? The what? <gasps> Our quote of the week is, good things happen all exactly when they're supposed to. All good things happen exactly when they're supposed to. <laughs> all good things happen exactly when they're supposed to. You should give the quote of that you said earlier, um, saying how you feel. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> doesn't ruin bad conne- or good connections. It ruins bad ones. Saying how you feel ruins bad <laughs> saying how, how you feel, feel doesn't, doesn't ruin, ruin good, good connections. connections it ruins bad ruins ones, bad ones. <laughs> that's our quote of the week we can't get it out but it's because we didn't read it off of our phone also kelsey was holding the balloons at meyer and just watching her go from aisle to aisle was the funniest shit. i don't know why we decided to get balloons first <laughs> i th- I and then go to the thought. bakery and then go get all of the things for chili, which is on multiple different aisles. One item each. And then with electronics. And then we're, I was just looking like a fool. People were looking at me funny, too, because I was carrying <laughs> balloons around. I was like, and, the, and then we were leaving Meyer, and it was probably like 820 or something. I'm like, people were probably like, what do they need balloons at night for? <laughs> like, usually you get balloons in the morning for like a birthday party or like a baby shower. Just... 8 p.m. <laughs> balloons at Meyer. <laughs> I really thought you were going to go look at the colors and then we'd like mm-hmm. do, do our shopping and then yeah. come back for them. Well, I think I think that were, was originally my plan. My plan. <laughs> but, but we started looking for a package of balloons and then we ran into the employee and I was like, how do we get balloons blown up? Yeah. And she was like, oh, well, I'll just do them. So then we had to do them then because I'd already gotten her. 
So yeah, that was originally my plan was not to get them now. I was just going to look at them, but Angelica has a video of me and I haven't seen it yet. We'll decide if we want to put it up on the pod page. <laughs> Cause you can never lose her. Like she goes into a different, I almost said lane aisle and you can still see the balloon. She told me to walk ahead, like walk ahead, walk around the corner real quick so I could see if I could see you. And then I almost ran into a couple. I was like, oh, sorry, go ahead. And then they walked past me and they're just looking at, up at the balloons like, what? What a fucking What's weirdo. happening? Should we know about an event or something? Is there an event here? Is there a giveaway? <laughs> Is there a giveaway? Uh, All right. So that's the that quarter crazy. Week. It really has been a year. Ugh. Wow. So we went back and listened to our first episode and made notes. And I also have some clips that I'll play from the first episode. Um, let me see if I can find my list. Uh, what did I call it? There it is. My list is called Podcast Adversary Episode. First, I'd like to start off with some statistics. Statistics. Real quickly. Yep. First and foremost, less than 20% of podcasts that have launched this year will make it to the next year. Wow. We're in the less than 20%, baby. Wow. That's huge. There, And that's a lot. That says a lot. Sorry. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to process that quote. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. That says a lot. Wait, let me process this real quick. <laughs> Go ahead to the next one. Um, so this is from <laughs> Black Linko. Um, here's just some statistics. There are over 400 and 464 million podcast listeners worldwide, which is projected to reach 504.9 million by 2024. Wow. Wow. Podcasts are like really, really a new thing. Like... I get all my information from podcasts. Like I, I watch, I listen to more podcasts prop time probably than I do watch TV. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Same. Because like 40 hours a week mm -hmm. at work. The average listener spends a whopping seven hours per week glued to their favorite podcast oh, app. Oh, me more than that. Well, glued to their favorite podcast page. You probably have several. It says favorite podcast app. Oh, right. According to a 2022 Edison research study, 50% of podcast listeners in the United States aged 12 to 34 had listened to a podcast in the last 30 days. Around 17% of podcast hosts record their episodes in both audio and video format. Mm -hmm. So we're in, in again, 17%, wow. less than 20. Yeah. And um, that's usually where a lot of people get the most listeners because they have both. Yeah. According to a Morning Consult study, 32% of podcast listeners in the U.S. prefer video podcasts to audio-only podcasts, mm. which that surprised me. Yeah. Like, when someone tells me they're watching a podcast, I'm yeah. like, what? I can't watch Ladies and Tangents. Even my favorite podcasts, I can't watch them. You just can't, like, stare at them? Mm-mm. Because they're just sta they're sitting there talking. I like, know. I just want to listen. I know. Yeah. So, Be like... 32%. Yeah, I prefer listening over watching, but I do enjoy the video format because then you can post clips on social media, and that's how you find podcasts that you like from clips on social media. That's what the, one of the statistics said, too. Yeah, that's... And, I, I mean, if you guys are longtime listeners, you know that we didn't start recording video until maybe six yeah i think like episode five or six. six or somewhere around there and then we went through so many softwares and so many options trying to figure out what the best way or the easiest way or the cheapest way starting out would be um and we've really i mean we use good equipment and good editing software now but in the beginning we were just flying through them trying to figure it out and we're like okay we're just gonna have to pay for a good software we're just gonna have to get a good camera <laughs> and that's what we've done wow to go from recording on our phones to recording on a gopro now mm -hmm. to not having a headset to now having headsets yep. to the clip on microphones to the stand microphones now wow interface we were we were recording directly into our podcast platform before oh yeah and now we're recording into an interface and then using a um, memory card to move over to our laptop and then edit. And we're using Adobe Premiere Pro, which is one of the best editing softwares in the world. I mean, they use it to make movies. Wow. Yeah. 
So a lot has changed in the year, guys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this shit was not easy. It was not no. easy to... What do we talk about? Like, what if we're not funny? What if people don't yeah. care? Like, what if, what if, what if? We're making sure we have enough content for an episode. Yeah. And I think it became less about, I mean, it's always been about what we have to say and like mm -hmm. the right people will listen, the right people will receive the yes. message. Yes. Yes. But it's been really a nice surprise to see when, like we've talked about, like people we didn't think would listen mm -hmm. and they listen. And not only listen, but our fans yeah. are like supporters. Yeah. And they give us feedback. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just been crazy. I want to say one person I'm really surprised still listens every week. Rob. Robert. Shout out, Rob. Shout out. Sh shout out. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Robert. Shana, shana, because shana, shana, he's like shana, probably shana, our shana, most up-to-date listener. Or one of our most... <laughs> He's probably one of our most up-to-date listeners. Shout out, Bailey Syrian. <laughs> I don't even know what you were reciting. <laughs> Just go. Um, yes, Rob. So, yeah, sorry. Shout out to Rob. And then we can't pass shout outs without shouting out to Luis and Brian. They surprised us with a post a couple of days ago where they were wearing our merch, which we didn't even know they bought. I normally get a notification when somebody orders merch, and I missed that one somehow. And um, they were wearing our merch, and they said some very nice things. Do you want to read it? Or no? Yes. <laughs> okay. Said so some very nice things about our one year anniversary, and Angelica's going to read it right now. He says, Congratulations, Here We Go Podcast, to your one year mark. For your one year mark. Podcasts aren't easy, but watching you guys stay consistent is inspiring. Topics are always entertaining, and the conversations get deep. Continue striving for greatness. We're here to watch you grow. Yes. That so. was very nice. I Shout could not have Luis. worded it better myself. <laughs> yes. Yes. Luis and Brian. Yes. And Brian's going to be on next week. We told you guys that. Yeah. We have, some other, we have another guest planned now. Yes. We have two guests in the next month. Mm -hmm. So pretty exciting times. Mm -hmm. This is a guest we talk about all the time. All the time. I mean, we mention this person in almost every episode. I feel like we do, right? Almost every episode. I would say every other for sure. Every other, yeah. Yeah. Every other, yeah. Uh, it's not my mom. Well, if not. How cool would it be to have my mom? <laughs> oh, an update from our last um, episode. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this. And I'm kind of um, not glad. But, like, thankfully, my mom doesn't know very good English. And she was she won't listen to the podcast. But for a woman who couldn't say the word SCX growing up. Uh-huh. Okay, so she has shingles, right? <laughs> she, <laughs> what the fuck? she has shingles. Okay, that was just random. I know. Well, that goes with my story. Yeah. She has shingles. And Did you know that's the chicken pox virus? Yes. So um, on Sunday, she was like, man, like my side really hurts, like right around where my boobs at. Um, like, I just want you to feel it. Me thinking through her clothes, <laughs> this woman sits down in the living room, blinds are open. She does. <laughs> Whips her titty out. Whips her titties. Poor <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hole. <laughs> Just takes off her shirt, takes off her bra. And I'm like, Mom, what are you doing? The neighbors could. Ah, it's fine. Here, just feel it. I'm like, what is this? She's getting to like that age where she doesn't give two shits about <laughs> anything. <laughs> Don't not give a fuck, bro. Oh. Kelsey, you can cut this out. She showed me her before. <laughs> This is like, I was probably like. We should put it in and put. She showed me her beep before, and no one will know what it was. <laughs> she literally grabbed me and like, this is when she was going through menopause, and she like shoved me in her room. She's like, look at it, look at it. This is what you guys are causing oh my God. me. You know what? Your mom and Maria are so much alike. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Oh my Wait, gosh. you said me and my mom are alike. You are, but we're her daughters in different ways. In different ways. Do I get her good qualities? Her better qualities? <laughs> better qualities, okay. definitely. Yes. Sorry, Maria. You're, but Maria looks more like your mom than you do. You look more like your dad, I think. I feel like because I've had surgery, I don't look like either. Mm, yeah, that makes it sound like you had plastic surgery. <laughs> I did have plastic surgery. <laughs> they rearranged my face. I mean, my nose used to be up here. <laughs> On my forehead. <laughs> she pointed to her forehead. You're not going to elaborate on that? Just, just oh, let it go? Nah. If y'all know, y'all know. Okay. All right. So, what's the... Did you read done with statistics? Were you done with statistics? <laughs> yeah, so I said that we're in the, we're in the less than 20%. Yeah. That's really Top awesome. Top 20%, you could say. Yeah. Yeah. 
that have made it more than a year. Yeah. All right. Speaking of a year, in the last year, our top 11 episodes were in this order. I did 11 because, of course, the number one episode is our most played episode because that's where everybody starts. Um, so, obviously, number one, getting to know us. Number two, anxiety and imposter syndrome. Number four, am I the asshole momster edition? Number three, our first times. Number eight, toxic relationships and trauma bonding. Uh, number five, ADHD, motivation is not the issue. Number six, cheese may sesh. Number nine, first generation American, child of immigrant parents. That was the one with Brian. Uh, 36, court is in session with Kathy. Mm-hmm. She made top 11. 39, mystery vanished or mysteriously vanished, missing 411. And 38, game night with Kathy. So Kathy made it twice in the top 11. We gotta have her back. Yeah. <laughs> She's obviously a gold mine. Y'all uh, really like her. Yeah. Ooh, was, y'all have a crush. She, um, actually, one of her episodes we had mentioned one of her episodes had like the top view for a while or top listens for a while of like our recent roster it does have the most listens no no because the the first like six episodes have the the most listens. oh well i think the most recent like out of like yeah, the out of the, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. we were saying yes yeah. yes yes i also have some more statistics after you okay actually. Go, ahead. go ahead okay well i know we talked about in the first uh episode how we only had audio and then obviously we got video yeah but we have since created tiktok okay uh-huh. oh. and facebook and youtube okay and our most viewed tiktok is at 3489 views it's the one where you talk about wet food <laughs> And the most viewed reel on Instagram is at 2,624 viewers. It's it's uh, Luis's Nickelback impression. Yeah, that was really good. And the last good. time he cried. It, ha- it had some um, momentum there for a while. I remember that. That growing like that. Yeah, and like how, earlier how you were saying, we've had 48 episodes, actually, and eight different guests. We've had eight guests? Yeah. Um, in order, there are Brian, Travis, Stephanie, Josie, Rob... Luis, Kathy, and Kendra. Josie? Jose. <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck? I was freaking out for a second. I'm like, who the fuck is Josie and why don't I remember her? I had some more. Did you have YouTube statistics? No. Oh, okay. So I have. Jesus. I have top YouTube. So I'm going to read those. 43, Mi Media Naranja. That's our top one right now. Did we record that? Yeah, we did. I'm slouching. Oh, I think the camera died at the end. No. What? The one we missed was... Oh, if I... No, it, we probably didn't record it, but I still put it on YouTube. Oh, okay. So it's available on YouTube. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, 44, break up with your attachment style versus I love relationships. I love that one. I love that one. Relationships. <laughs> um, a lot of people have said that that was their favorite one. Like, that that's their current favorite episode. I choked on my spit and Angelica burped. (laughs) That was weird. And that's how connected we are. Not not connected enough to play that game we're going to try to play later. Need to work on that. Uh, (laughs) Next one is 41, The Demon House, The Amon's Family Haunting. 42, The Graham Crackers with Kendra. 45, The Birds, The Bees, and The Motherfucking Boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. 30, Mysteries and True Crime, The Murdoch Murders, which I knew would have quite a few views. And 40, Lordy Lordy, the podcast is 40. Are those views? Mm Mm-hmm. Wait top views oh okay okay, okay. <laughs> um okay let's go through the episode and talk about our notes okay are you ready for that yeah are we going back and forth or what yeah we can go back and forth okay you can go first um <laughs> might be the some of these might be the same yeah uh we were both very very nervous yep and that giggly. was my first one too but i said we were so nervous and giggly but now when our guests are on they're like oh my god i'm so nervous and we're like Psh, we got this it's fine once you get started it's fine but we were like so like okay this is our first episode <laughs> even even now like the way that we start it's just so like hey what's up guys what's up hi yeah, we're here again sub 46 episodes later <laughs> sub bitch name's todd um okay 
<laughs> we shouted out every name that we mentioned. <laughs> what do you mean? We shouted out Anthony. Oh, like anytime we mention a person, we're like, my shout out. My sister. Shout out. Yeah. <laughs> Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. We still do it, I feel like. Yeah, we still Any do Any person that. we mention. I mean, we can't say your name and not shout you out. We can't talk about you and not say hello. Um, Kelsey said that Kendra wouldn't be listening, but then she later became a guest on the pod, so she was wrong. And I also thought my mom wouldn't listen, but she listened to at least the first episode. Yep. See? The people that we thought would listen may have or may have not. May have or may have not. <laughs> may have or may have not. And then the people <laughs> that we didn't think would listen, listen. Are like support. the biggest supporters. Yeah. yeah. My turn. Um, so we talked about me sending you a start a podcast with me meme. Mm-hmm. And I went back and found the meme. So I'm going to post it the day that this comes out mm. on the Instagram. Okay. Next point. Um, <clears throat> I, in the first episode, I mentioned how Kelsey's been there for me because I've been through some shit in the last couple of years. Oh, baby girl. Life said, you want to see some real shit, bitch? <laughs> Here's a whole year worth of it. Uh, yeah. I, I was thinking that too when I heard you say that. I was like, damn. Yeah. L- like, what shit did I think I had going on? Like, what? <laughs> Girl, what? Yeah. And um, the part about that that I mentioned was when Maria listened to that episode for the first time, she texted you, haha, WWKD, what would Kelsey do? Because you said in there, what would Kelsey do? Oh, right, right, right. Like WWJD, what would Jesus do? Because I ask you, yeah, I ask you for advice and mm-hmm. damn. Mm. WWKD. Um, I said, I'm going to say fuck a lot. And I was thinking to myself, I wish that there was an AI tool to find out how many times on the podcast we've said the word fuck or like fucking or whatever ideation of it. Ideation? Iteration. <laughs> I was like, yep, ideation. That sounds right, right? <laughs> what did you say it? earlier? <laughs> Wait, two Con- things. Confusive. <laughs> confusive. No. Yeah, confusive. Yeah, yeah confusive. confusive. And then I you were still trying think that's to say, a word. You were trying to say the phrase, um, spreading myself thin. <laughs> and you said laying myself flat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been over here laying myself flat. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, laying myself flat, yeah. spreading myself thin. So we've decided ev- eventually we're going to do an episode where we're going to test Angelica on her English phrases and idioms. Confusive is a word. What does it mean? Comparative, more confusive. Superlative, most confusive. Full of confusion, confused or confusing. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was a word. Oh, I didn't know it was a word. I knew. What's your next point? <laughs> I'm just saying, like. I know. My words are real, Kelsey. Berlin is snoring so loud that he's vibrating my chair. I can't hear him at all. <laughs> he stopped. Because he heard you. Probably. Um, we talked about how we can talk for hours. We yeah. still can talk for hours. Yeah, I said uh, we could talk, you know, talk our asses off for hours and we're going to have to cut it down to an hour. Not a single one you of our episodes him. are an hour. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I think we tried to stick oh, to that. Oh, I meant that. to look and see how long, like, longest and shortest episode was. I think you tried to put it down to an hour initially. I tried to stay close to an hour, but... Yeah, because usually... Well, people, I never want to be under an hour. Yeah, people... So the most... The best uh, duration of a video or podcast, you generally want to get in that 20 to 40 minute. Mm-hmm. Which is fine, like... We're way more than that, though. You you can, yeah, we're way more than that. Like, if people want to turn off after 40 minutes, I mean, you're going to regret it, but you can. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see if I can figure out really quickly which one is the longest. I want to do karaoke again. Ooh. The longest one is the the wedding recap. Oh, well... People wanted to know. Um, actually, technically, the longest one is the one we recorded with Louise, and we had to split it into two episodes. Oh, right. Because Duh, it was that's... over three hours of recording. Um, and then the shortest episode, of course, would be like one of our bonus episodes. But the shortest main episode was probably... Probably... 33 happy 365 days later our new year's um episode that had 54 minutes and 42 seconds 
The rest were bonuses that were that short. Alright, back to it. Um. Ew, you're a Gemini? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cringed at that conversation. Ew, you're a Gemini? I'm like, yeah, but I think, like, people you... represent your zodiac sign at your worst. I was like, yeah, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Are you saying you're a bitch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, if that's what people think of Gemini's, then yeah. Yukon. Toe! <laughs> we, I think we tried to make a clip out of that before we had, before we obviously had video, but. Oh, yeah. I think we did. Mm -hmm. I think it might actually be our first. We might get it in our memories. We'll yeah. have to watch it for our memories and our stories. Guys, wait, you, you got to know the Yukon Tahoe conversation. It might be on our Instagram post. Let me go back to the beginning real quick. We're having to look up so many things. Take your time. I ain't going nowhere. Nope, but I just, wow. I have to play this clip. Today I was listening to a podcast and the storyteller was saying something about something 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 how women are attracted to straight men and i thought that person said satan <laughs> <laughs> i was like straight men satan same thing oh my I don't god know I anyway go ahead <laughs> in my head i get like satan and santa mixed up <laughs> satan <laughs> santa oh my god this better work on that with your nephew yeah <laughs> You better be did, good. Did Satan bring you that? <laughs> oh, God. I can understand getting it mixed up on paper. No, when I write it down, I'm like, <laughs> So do children. Two Adriel from Satan. <laughs> Two Adriel from Satan. <laughs> oh, my Mommy, God. who's this from? <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Satan. Uh, we should throw this away, sweetie. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, back to what you were saying. Okay. That was it. That's our first video clip? Um, no, that's our second. I developed the idea that my friend... The murder the second grader that tried to poison her um, wow. classmate with peanut butter was our first one. Really? Yep. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a release date. Okay, next one. I do like spring better than fall now because of the tulips in my pink tree. Mm. So we had said that fall was your favorite and then now it's spring. Yeah. And you'd said that maybe now that you have your house with all the greenery that you might not like the fall because that's when all your plants will die. Yeah. So, I mean, that's true. It's just the opposite way. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> wow, that's Is interesting. It? You guys should see Angelica's tulips in the front of her house. They are fucking amazing. Yeah, they like reproduce every year and like multiply and like they are so bright and beautiful. They're like red and yellow and there's some pink and like two pinks in there, I think. Mm -hmm. But they're mostly red and yellow. And then she has two trees in the front yard. One is pink and one is purple. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <gasps> Wow. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Huh. Mm -hmm. It's like it's always meant to be. I mean, if if we I don't I don't know what other sign we could have. And we talked about signs in the first episode. We're exactly where we need to be, mm -hmm. doing exactly what we need to do. Mm -hmm. All good things happen exactly when they're supposed to. Amen. Um, my next one was that I noticed we didn't have a transition sound back then. And so Mercedes had commented that it was funny how when we didn't have the transition, but we would take a break and like, like okay, guys, we'll be right back. And we're and back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> it was so like quick. And now we have a transition sound. So there's that. Yeah. We'd All right, guys, we'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> or just, it, I noticed in the first one, it would just cut off in the middle of a set. We'd be like, okay, guys, we'll be yeah. right. <laughs> and then we'd cut in like, hey. You know, like uh, the tra the non transition, the non existent transition reminds me of SpongeBob episode. He's like really fast. Want to see me run to that rock? Want to see me do it again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, we talk about ladies and tangents being our inspiration, mm -hmm. and a year later we're gonna go see I them. Know. I was I put that on mine too. Like yeah, we said we would want to meet Jerry and Sierra. We're not, we're not gonna, gonna, get gonna to meet, meet them. them. I know that's why you asked me about the meet and greet, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not gonna get to meet them, um, but well, there was meet and greet tickets, but there's only 
very limited ones per show and you would have to be like the first person in to get those Um, and we we waited months before we bought our tickets just because we weren't sure not that we didn't want to we wanted to but we just had a lot going on and we just weren't sure we're gonna be able to make it it's a thursday it's in chicago it's the second to last show of like a 12 show yeah tour so we wanted to wait till closer to time but we still got our tickets and we're gonna go yeah and we're gonna vlog on the way there and we're gonna do a little podcast recording on the way there and it's gonna be awesome and i can't fucking wait Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. that was my next one uh i used to be a year behind on their podcast now i'm eight months behind <laughs> oh did you go and look <laughs> yeah mm. well i listened to them today i was trying to get caught up but things that were came up and i couldn't finish but yeah i mean i'm eight months i'm caught up i said that i wasn't caught up on their patreon when we recorded last but i am also caught up on their patreon except no, today's episode too, yeah. Because they were released a pa- uh, Patreon episode today. But yeah, I'm caught up on Patreon too. I would love to have the Basement Yard Patreon. There's so much backlog. It would take me forever to get through it. And I'd be paying for months <laughs> to Jesus, get through it. Jesus. Jesus. But, I mean, if there ever comes a time where I need a lot to listen to over, like, if I wanted to do a really tedious job for, like, a really long time, that would be the time to do it so I could binge it. Yeah. But, yeah. What's the guy's names again? Frankie and Joe. Frankie and Joe. I love that name. Frankie. I don't. I like it for a girl, though. <laughs> I don't. Frankie? Francesca? Mm-mm. That's my like baby it. girl's name. Your baby girl? Yep. I'll tell you, I don't like it. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, it's not your baby girl. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I ain't saying anything about cash. I know. But yeah, Frankie for a girl. Francesca. That's cute. I got that... <laughs> <laughs> you see how she just says shit just just to say shit I was she literally told me that she did not like the name and now she's telling me oh, that's pretty what i said it was cute oh it's cute <laughs> this is how fake she can be <gasps> are you on autopilot right now i sometimes am on autopilot. that's cute what <laughs> we were at the store we were trying to pick out cake and i was like well we could do this or well but i want the sprinkles and then we picked a different cake and she was like i thought you wanted sprinkles i'm like no i don't care about sprinkles and she goes i feel sorry for travis i feel for travis i really do (laughs) anytime kelsey's being like slightly difficult like not even really being difficult just just indecisive yeah i'm just like i feel for travis man i really do I don't know like I just have like a specific way I'm envisioning something and if we just have to tweak it a little I'm like oh I don't know is it worth it yeah wait till y'all see our cake we had we tried so many different things (sighs) first of all Kelsey um she failed to tell me that the bakery at Meyer closes at eight yeah so we're over here dilly daddling on our, my garbage disposal. <laughs> Fix the garbage disposal <laughs> instead of going to Meyer to get the cake. So we got there and the bakery was already closed, so we couldn't have anyone write it down. So then we're like, we'll just write it ourselves. We'll just write it ourselves. And we got the gel, the yeah. gel icing, the see through gel icing <laughs> on a chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, but to our, you know, credit. The tube looked like dark, opaque yeah, icing. It, did, it didn't it did. look like it was going to be it was see-through. False advertising. It really was. It looked like hot pink. Yeah. Like opaque, not yeah. not translucent. I mean, <laughs> just bear with us, okay? You, you know, HG. There's pink and purple sprinkles on it. You'll see. Yeah, it's fine. It's not like you're getting any anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you can have your own chocolate cake at home, okay? Yeah, heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Oh, um, I've got some clips on that one. Uh, uh, we still haven't visited California, but it's on our bucket list. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Um, We'd I, like to go to the Pacers game on Sunday. We'll see about that. Yeah. Uh, I said I was most proud of most proud of buying a house. Now I'm most proud of knowing my worth, taking time to heal, and being by myself. Mm, that part, actually. That brings me to some responses from Instagram. Do you still have more stuff? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, I talk about manifesting and putting myself in the position to receive that. I wanted to be happy and love myself, and I finally, and I am finally feeling that after getting a divorce and trying to move on. Wow, that's interesting that that was your wish for yourself, and you didn't know that it meant what it meant it's kind of like when you say god please remove people that are not good for me and then you start losing like friends and family mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So like, I basically said like, I want to be happy and love myself. And God said, well, in order to do that, Jose cannot be in your life because he is preventing you, preventing me from being happy and loving myself. Mm -hmm. So he was removed, removed. All right. Oh, did you have more? Wait, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I went from Every time there's a pause, I'm like, okay, my turn. <laughs> I went from being a staff accountant to a general ledger accountant. Ooh. Um, I went to, I went through two therapists and I should probably get back to it. <laughs> we didn't go through them. It just ended for a certain reason. Yeah. They just weren't a really good fit. And that's kind of what we were saying Even too. Even the second like, one? Even the second one? No, because she really wasn't being helpful. She just, she was just confirming everything. Validating. I already, yeah, validating, which is fine. Like, yeah. she was cool to talk to. <laughs> she was cool I mean, to hang out with. you didn't give her enough sessions, though. You only saw her four times. I know. But it's you $100. Still unha- you were still informing her of everything. Yeah. And you know what? She wanted an update on my divorce, and I totally forgot to email her. Um, yeah. No, I, I know. It's probably 100. on the edge of her seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, It's $100. Every session. A hundred dollars for an hour. Mm-hmm. And would you see her every week or every two weeks or I can see her as often as I want, but she mm-hmm. recommends weekly. Mm-hmm. Um so I'm trying to save up money for that and just maybe put do a every, lot of money. And maybe just do every two weeks. Yeah, I'll probably do that. But I've been saying hundred bucks a month, it's not that bad. Yeah, so I've been trying to Sorry. save money <laughs> and put it in my Sorry. HSA account. <laughs> and um here soon I'm probably I'll probably go back. Hmm. That's a good idea. Use your H- 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 <laughs> use your HSA for it. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, so let's go over some responses from Instagram. The first one, the first question was, in honor of the anniversary, what was the biggest change for you in the last year? Angelica came up with that question. Brian said, I have made the commitment to eating better along with working out. Amen. Mercedes said, becoming a mom. Mm. Congrats. And Zoe said, finally being able to say that I'm okay with being alone. Yes. Queen. Had you read those before? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Had you read those before? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bullen. Um, the next one says, in honor of the anniversary, what was your favorite episode? So Brian said, breaking up with your attachment style episode, hands down, proud of you guys. And we, like so I said, we've good. gotten a lot of feedback on that episode, episode specifically. We, we had another person say that one too, 44. Yes. Um, Jeremiah. Yes, Jeremiah. <laughs> I didn't you can just say his first name. You don't have to say his full government name. <laughs> I'll believe it out. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Shout out. Thank you. Um, and Mario. Mario said, just started not too long ago, but so far, episode two on episode four now, by the way. (laughs) He's got a lot of catching up to do. Thank you. Well, and that that goes to the next one. So the next one was, um, what topics would you like to see us cover? And Mario said, paranormal stuff, thoughts. And then I replied to that. Well, because, yeah, he's still on number four. So he's got some good stuff in in store. Yeah. So I said, paranormal stuff. Or I... (laughs) (laughs) paranormal stuff hey, for, so I shared his comment and I said you said you were only on episode 4 you're in for a treat on paranormal stuff we should have told him like which episodes were the paranormal yeah, stuff yeah but I want him to skip episodes oh okay you're, you're in for a treat when you get there you'll have to let us know when you get there there <laughs> are maybe a handful of creepy paranormal related episodes yeah, we should have counted like them it. We should have counted them. Yeah. We should have counted them. We should have counted them. <laughs> but they would have gone looking for them. Yeah, that's true. See? I mean, we, we could say we have five paranormal episodes. So okay. All right. <laughs> um, the other answer to that. Oh, Brian messaged us privately and gave us some topic um, ideas that he thinks we should do. Did you read those? I did not. I don't know. I'm going to read them now. Okay. <laughs> have we picked one for him yet? Uh, yeah, we said male friendship. Male friendship. Oh, yeah, Why yeah. can't I talk? Male friendships? Male friendships versus female friendships. Oh. Friendship, 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 Does he know that? Yes, I told him. Oh, what did he say? He said, okay. Uh, oh, what he did said, he say? Hold on. I'm going to go. I'm going to jump on Brian for wait, a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Where did you, where did you tell him? Did you message him? When was this? It was this? on the podcast Facebook group. Oh. Our Facebook You guys messages. have covered a lot. I'm challenging you both to explore autism, trans people, drug issue, pills, and such maternity. Maybe interview a kid. Can we do that? Um, with parental consent, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would be comfortable doing I it, though. For when I, did, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. <sighs> so, what I was going to say was, when we were planning the episode with Brian, I said the 
the topic would be male friendships versus female female friendships. And he said, are we talking plutonic? <laughs> plutonic? <laughs> and I said, plutonic? Like rocks? <laughs> because I knew he meant plutonic, but I was joking with him. And he said, I mean platonic with a laughing face. But he said he was on board. Plutonic. <laughs> not platonic. Wait, wait. What was the first? What did you tell him? <laughs> Let's just start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, just start. So he not... said, let me feature on the sex episode, maybe male perspective. <clears throat> we actually were hoping that you would come record with us neither the either the 18th. <laughs> I was <supposed> to say either. Because <laughs> <laughs> Or the and so you won't make fun of you. So don't choose either one of those. <laughs> <laughs> On the topic, male friendships versus female friendships. And then I changed it to either and said it was me. A, the return. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's like, oh, the return of him. Yes, I got you the 20th works best. Because I work Monday through Friday. Also, Wait, you're we're recording on Saturday? Yeah, oh, because <laughs> it's the ball. The ball. The ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> when me and my grandpa watched the Powerball, <laughs> he says, "Stop!" Stop. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway, we don't need to read the rest. Okay. Now let's play some clips. How's that sound? Let's play some ball. <laughs> <laughs> That was very quick-witted. That was very quick-witted. Okay, so this is the first time ever I explained the quote, uh, all good things happen exactly when they're supposed to. I hate the saying... Um, I hate the saying... I hate the saying everything happens for a reason because I think it's a cop-out for people who are trying to be supportive of people who are going through a rough I think time. I cut that part. It's, I think, and yeah, kind I'll of a it. twist of a way of saying that concise. is that all good things happen exactly when they're supposed to happen. Mm, I like that. Why do we sound so innocent and like, yeah, I like that. I know. I feel, so when I go back and listen to old ladies and tangents episodes, they're very much like, "Uh, how are you? They're kind of talking low and they're not talking. When they laugh, they're like, (laughs) like they're trying not to be too loud on purpose. And now they're like, (laughs) and now they're like, (laughs) you know, Oh, okay, so I don't sorry. remember what this clip is. I'm just going to play it. Which is a Jeep Grand Cherokee XL. <laughs> XL. XL. You heard it here first, folks. I think it's going to be like our catchphrase. You heard it here, here first, folks. I forgot the first. <laughs> you heard it here second, folks. <laughs> Wait. Which is not going to happen with this podcast. Mark because. our words. Mark our words. You heard it here Look. first, folks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here a second, folks. I was gonna say that. I said it for you since you were joking. I clipped two of them together. Yeah. I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited X. Yeah, not XL. Not XL. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one, I'm gonna play it and then you tell me if you wanna cut it out. It's been saying videos. It made the decision for you. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> I can go back and find it because I have the timestamp if we need to. <clears throat> it's eleven o'clock. Uh, I gotta eat. What? It's eleven o'clock. Yeah. It was like nine forty when I checked last. <laughs> We're, We're guys, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten. Guys, guys, <laughs> all two of you. <laughs> all two. Of you. <laughs> and I'm one of them. <laughs> okay. And I'm one of them. <laughs> And now there's a bunch of you bitches. Shut out. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me try to find the other clip. That was the last one. Okay, next question is, what's your favorite food? Okay, let's ask. Let's answer this about each other. Mm. I have no idea what your favorite food is. Dude, I don't even know my fiance's, like, subway order. I know I'm terrible. And now I don't have to. <laughs> I do know my husband's subway order. Your good wife. <laughs> He's lucky to have you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> of course he fucking does. Of and course. if he didn't, he's out of here, okay? <laughs> but I don't know his, and it's fine. Wait, wait, I know yours. Which one? Yours is, um, <laughs> arroz con pollo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is she laughing so hard? Because so se- the setup makes it, it sound like you're talking about my so subway order. I know, but I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was 
was a joke on how wide I am. That was so way order the rest of the I'm answering the question. <laughs> I, I just want to say I had a Ruskin Pollo two days ago. <laughs> so I was right. And it was fucking delicious. <laughs> it was really, really good. One of the best ones I've ever had. Theme song or whatever it's called. Okay, we're going to play a game. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> but there was a transition there. Um, we're going to play a game where we're going to count down from three and say a word. Wait, wait our cake. <laughs> You want to do it at the end when we do our projections? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to play a game. <laughs> what if we finished the recording and then did not bring the cake out? I'd be so pissed. Okay. <clears throat> it's out of sight, out of mind. Like, I just remembered because I saw the balloons in the camera. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I forgot. <laughs> okay. 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 How much were the balloons anyway? $7 for, for that all bundle. five of them? Mm-hmm. That's not terrible. Seven forty nine, I think okay we're gonna play a game okay. <laughs> we're gonna play a game where we're gonna count down from three and we each have to say a random word and then we're gonna keep doing that until we can get the same word so you'll you'll understand as we start playing. same word see we, the first time you explained that you did not say same word you said the closer we get to each other and i'm like the closer we oh, get okay i'm sorry if i didn't describe it very well all before. right okay i get it now <laughs> we played it already so you know i get know it. no i get it uh, this time more. around okay no i got it i'm good <laughs> Okay, I believe you. <laughs> no, I understand okay. now. Okay. Back then I didn't know, but now I do. <laughs> okay. Once I was afraid, I was petrified. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm good now. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, that song. Once I was afraid, I was, I was petrified. petrified. Where did you hear that song at first? Hawthorne. Peggy. Um... Okay. Is it in Shrek? I don't think so. Unless it's on a two or three. Is it on Shrek 2? And does the godmother sing it? Oh, yes. Are you sure? Yes, I think so. What do you think this is a Mandela effect? Yes. Uh, okay, what is it really then? It's um, I Need a Hero. I Need a Hero. Oh. Okay, but what about... No, nope, I went back and checked. What about, remember, there used to be bonus content where you could they would play karaoke on the DVD? It'd be bonus content? Maybe she <gasps> sings it there. Maybe. I, okay, I was so convinced that she yeah. sings it in the movie. Yeah. So I looked it up, and there's a Reddit thread about it being a Mandela effect. Because it's not in <gasps> the movie. But nobody mentions the bonus content? The blah, 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 blah. No. Mm, we'll have to go back and look at that. We'll do our homework, and we'll report back. <sighs> okay. Back to the game. Ready? Three, two, one, cup. Balloons. What? Cup. Okay. Three, two, one, celebration. Party. Ooh, we got close. Um, one, <laughs> three, two, <laughs> one, Cake. birthday. Damn. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think okay. I have something. Three, two, one. Candles. <laughs> um, three, two, one. Song. Bro. <laughs> we just switched. <laughs> Blow. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we can get any closer. No, we're going to start over. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> um, three, two, one. Microphone. Fan. <laughs> what? Microphone. Fan. How are we going to put those two together? I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Plug. Podcast. Okay. Three, two, one. Headphones. Promote. <laughs> Did you say remote? Promote. Um. Three, two, one. Instagram. Record. <laughs> Three, two, one. Social media. I was gonna say social media, but Why did I, didn't it come say out? It. I don't know. We would have had it. Uh, okay, try again. It's only supposed to be one word. I think that's why I hesitated. Oh. <sighs> Three, two, one. Makeup. I, I didn't have a. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I didn't have a word. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay I have okay, to okay, change okay. my word. All right, 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 all right. All right. Three, two, one. Sweaters. Tulips. Sweater and tulips. Three, two, one. Pink. Spring. I feel like you have something, but I don't. I'm trying to astro project it to you. <laughs> astro project or telepath telepathic. <laughs> Teleport it to you and astro project it in front of you. Oh my gosh. Um remind me to tell a story about teleporting. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what wait. was the words? Sweater and Oh, let's try again. Okay. Wait, the story first. So in middle school I wrote the word I or somebody else wrote the word telepathy <laughs> on a piece of paper. <laughs> Why? And Maria thought it said telepathy. <laughs> And so now it's always good. We should call Maria and ask her if she knows what telefatty means. You can just be away. Oh, yeah. It's Maria we're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. She's always awake at this time. <laughs> She's a night owl. Is it? Maria, you're on the podcast. It's Kelsey. Oh, I'm on the podcast? <laughs> really quick, really quick. Do you remember? Okay. Do you remember what telepathy means? Uh, telepathy. Yep. Telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 We were. I, I was just. Uh, go ahead. I was. I don't remember the full story, but I know it's like. I think it was like the first time we learned that word. Maybe I learned the word. Mm -hmm. And it just sounded like we were saying telepathy. Oh, I think I wrote it down, and because you didn't know the word, you like tried to sound it out and you're like oh i thought that said telefatty and so ever yeah. since then we always said that and i was just telling that um story on the podcast i said we should call her and see if she knows yep. <laughs> like um is is lupe there who is it felipe. Felipe. <laughs> is your lupe <laughs> is felipe there um that was a good story okay that's all i wanted <laughs> sorry to bother you did she wake you up Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting ready to go to bed. Well, the kids are asleep. Um, I'm a, sorry. Did you say getting married? Getting ready to go to sleep. Oh my god. Okay, you better not be. I'm just kidding. No, I'm to lay down. All, All right. right. Good night. Good night. Love, you, night. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> that sounded like getting married. Yeah, it did. We both looked at each other like <laughs> at midnight. At midnight. No, it's past midnight. Almost one. Um, <clears throat> see, I told you she'd know what it was. And not too long ago, I told the story that me and Maria used to prank call people and say, Is Felipe there? We used to say it just like that. <laughs> Did you guys ever get a yes? No, people were just so confused. Like, who's Felipe? Like, they didn't even know it was a prank call. And um, Well, back then. Yeah, I guess back then it wasn't that big a deal. But um, People were actually called to call. You were at my talk. house and I was telling you this story. And I was like, call Maria right now and, and ask her, is Felipe there? And she will know <laughs> what you're talking about. And we did. She was at the casino <laughs> when you called her. And she was like, oh, my God. And she remembered that or whatever. She started And laughing. then you said, you do it. And she's like, what? You want me to do it right down in the middle of the casino? <laughs> and like, you're like, yeah. yeah. And she goes. It's Felipe there <laughs> in the casino. It was so good. Um, expect more of uh, Maria soon, maybe. So anyway, okay, another one. Ready? Three, two, one. Hawthorn. Hair. Three, three, two, two one. one. Braids. Oh my oh, god! The second one. That's it, guys. If you guys were confused as to what the fuck kind of game we're playing, that's it. That's all. <coughs> Just trying to get the same word. Yes. Maybe we should play a different game. For the record, this was Kelsey's suggestion. <laughs> it was. I thought we'd be better at it. Let's get the cake. Okay, let's get the cake. Yeah. Okay. If there's one thing you should know about me, is do not assume that i have it <laughs> i do not have it i'm winging it every day all day okay so if you have a better idea you say that and we'll go from there the camera's further back now <laughs> it is that's okay it's the end of the episode uh, it's further back because we stopped and we took pictures of the cake and our setup and everything so yeah really fun time our balloons look so cute don't they they're so cute i can't wait to take them home to cash so you can play with them he's gonna love them yeah
All right, guys, we're going to talk about our projections for the next year of podcasting. So hopefully by this time next year, we'll be either at 100 or close to 100 episodes. Yeah, let's dig into the cake. Trigger warning for eating ASMR. Ooh, Sweet. It's nice and thick. It's like a big old brownie. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm so mad I don't have milk. You don't have milk? That hit all my cavities. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that in all of my cavities. <gasps> I thought she was going to say that hit all the right spots. <laughs> no. I hit all the wrong ones. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. That's really good. This sucks because Bolin can't have any. It's double chocolate. All right, projections for the next year. Okay. Um, we talked about five thousand all-time plays. We're almost at two thousand, guys. We're like twenty away. Yes, we're twenty plays on the podcast apps audio version away from two thousand all-time plays. So. We're going to be posting my Instagram on it leading up to our anniversary because we want to hit it before our anniversary. I don't care if I have to re-listen to 20 episodes. We're going to get there. We're going to hit it. We're going to hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Fuck it up. Um, I hope to have on maybe a guest that we don't know personally. Because mm, we haven't stepped one. out of that comfort zone yet. Well, I mean thankfully we've had a lot of our friends and family want to be on the podcast right. so that's really exciting yeah that is really exciting and and like that's wow that's incredible yeah well some of them were like hey you're gonna be on the podcast and they're like okay who maria <laughs> oh which i haven't announced yet maria's gonna be on the podcast in may <laughs> <laughs> well she's talked about have you guys talked about this have mm-hmm. you guys should talk about this okay be on it then be on it then girl <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. Or put your mouth where our microphones are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more. <laughs> more. Jessica started clapping with her fingertips. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I miss my niece and nephew so much. How long has it been? Like four days? No. Like ten days. Since her birthday? She came over last Tuesday. Oh, yeah. It's been like 10 days. Yeah, 10 days. I usually see them once a week. I did not see them this weekend. Mm. Well, it's the weekend again, so. <sighs> yeah, I'll see them tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I guess that we Do don't know. Do you have know. someone in mind that you might want? Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh-uh. I mean, I mean, there's some <laughs> good podcasters I'd love to have on our podcast, but yeah. I feel like we're going to have to get bigger before we can do that. Yeah. Before we can convince them to. Yeah, eventually, like, <coughs> Casey Davis, you said, yep. Ladies and Tangents, Ladies too, and collab. Tangents, yeah. Um, but yeah, someone we don't know, that'd be really cool, actually. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, so, like, right now, we're using my makeup room as the podcast room, which yes. is kind of both. So, yeah, maybe within the next year, we can move it to a different room where it's dedicated completely to yeah, the podcast. Yeah, we can really, like, work on a drop... Uh, a backdrop. Backdrop, like I was saying earlier yeah, today. Yeah, make it look a little bit more professional. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did they move forward? I'm just getting, like, real close to my face. <laughs> I feel like it was back here when we started. And now your hair's, like, yeah. sticking up to it. So, yeah, a little bit more space, a better mm-hmm. um, setting a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Um, um, oh, I am currently working on revamping the merch store. I don't think I've told you this. When you called me yesterday, I was actually working on it. Um, We're going to move over to a different platform where we can do more things other than apparel. We'll be able to do magnets, cups, all kinds of stuff besides just t-shirts and hoodies. And hopefully we'll we'll have a little bit better um, ability to put different designs on and have cheaper items. And also more variety when it comes to like you know like i would really love a zip up hoodie like full zip hoodie yeah because i hate over like pullover hoodies really um but those are always best for like merch because you can put a whole thing right on the front of it but we could do stuff on the back or yeah you know emblem on the side so i'm looking forward to revamping merch um and i'm I'm gonna hope to release it on our potiversary so i'm gonna work on it this weekend you got some work to do yeah i already started on it yesterday um setting it up and stuff and um we're gonna hopefully release it on tuesday at least a couple of things a new at least one new design and then the same design that we've been selling 
<laughs> Y'all, Kelsey's a rock star. Like, this podcast would not be possible without her. So let's all give Aww. her a round of applause. Thanks. I, you know, some people say, like, oh, I'm a creative. And you are that way, too. And I've never considered myself creative, I guess, because when, never? We, were, when we were, well, not never, but for a long time I didn't because when we were growing up, someone who was creative meant, like, someone who can draw. And I don't necessarily think I can draw. Like, I can draw you a diagram and it'd be pretty accurate but like i can't draw the way i know other people can like uh, i don't know how to explain it but now i know that like i am a creative like i flourish in a space where i can be creative that's why um the job that i have has to be like really specific to like my creative needs otherwise i'm like really bored and i don't want to do it anymore um and this outlet gives me something to look forward to and something that I can work on and like hyper focus on and um so that's why that's another reason why I'm revamping the merch I've been wanting to do it for a while but I finally bit the bullet and started doing the research on it yesterday so it's gonna be cool I figured out why my <clears throat> creativity has been snuffed mm -hmm. it's the hierarchy of needs Mm -hmm. Like my basic needs mm -hmm. have not been met for a very long time. Yeah. And so I'm just like, I've been in survival mode. Like mm -hmm. I haven't, ha my brain doesn't have the capacity to yeah. be creative because all it has capacity for is just getting to the next day. Yeah. And surviving. Yeah. It's not thriving. Right. I would, <laughs> yeah. <even, right? laughs> I agree. I would venture to say that even recently, your ability to. <clears throat> be creative on the podcast like adding to the the topic and the theme and everything has been even better recently yeah than before yeah like i have like markers and color pencils mm -hmm. and books that i want to do and i started reading again today which had been a while and all the singing just to, yeah like i got my karaoke machine mm -hmm. so all that's coming back i'm excited yeah, yeah. um let's see what else for the what about podcast makeup? Yeah, I want to get back into that, too. You should do that a lot. Yeah. I miss the person I was when I was happy. Mm. Get back there. Yeah, You're starting. Well. I'm better. You're starting there. Yeah. I want to get to, like, at least 500 followers by next year. How much? A thousand. I was going to say a thousand. Let's get to a thousand followers by next by this time next year. <laughs> see if Amen. We can, see if we can hit that. And then on the TikTok. talk Yeah, it's low on TikTok. Let's do 500 on TikTok. 500 on TikTok, that's fine. Um, and we need at least one video to go viral. Yeah, I was going to say a viral video. At least one video to go viral. We're really working on that. We're trying to get the we're trying to get the clips that are interesting and funny and thought-provoking. Let's say 200 on Facebook followers. Yeah, 200 Facebook. That sounds good. Okay. All right, guys, thank you for being with us for a full fucking year. And for those of you that are <clears> behind <throat> and just now listening to this six months from now, it's okay. You got this. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> um, <clears throat> watch out for our new merch drop, which will be hopefully around the time that we release this episode. Um and stay tuned because we have a lot of good episodes coming up like we're we're coming up with so many ideas that we're having to schedule them and which we have we didn't really do before unless we had a couple of good ideas in a row but like we're scheduled out till may 17th now so <clears throat> so something that like we talk about we just talked about like projections like what we want to be different um there's one thing that i want to keep the same mm -hmm. and it's like why we started this yeah so like we talked about how like kelsey and i have really good conversations that we feel like other people should listen to mm -hmm. and so with that being said i just want to read our bio like our about and yeah. um on apple podcast i haven't read it in a long time yeah one of life's many joys is good conversation there's nothing like leaving a convo and feeling heard and refreshed friends forever friends for forever mm -hmm. the conversations flow naturally here we want to share them with you let us bring you the deep topics and a little fun join us whether it's for validation advice or simply for friendship and i truly think we're doing that fire still to this day a year later and fire. i hope that you also feel the same way mm -hmm. listener out there and um i feel like we described like we wrote that the day before the episode released or whatever 
And we've done exactly that. Yeah. For 46 episodes plus This is like our, like our mission statement. Yeah, literally. Yeah. And you know what's funny? Because I, I haven't read that in a long time. But now that you read it, I'm, I'm like damn proud of us for like sticking to that. Not swaying from what yeah. we wanted this podcast to be just because, you know, we were trying to do what people want to hear. Like we're going to say what we want to say and the bright people will stay. Exactly. And mm-hmm. that's why I said like, yeah, of course we want to go viral. We want to have all these followers and, you know, eventually sell a bunch of merch and, you know, potentially be monetized. But at mm-hmm. the, at the end of the day, this is what we're all about. And mm-hmm. if we're doing that, then that, then we did it. And the people who are listening to us now telling us that, our episodes are meaningful to them and that they really enjoyed it that is worth it al- yeah. alone whether or Absolutely. not we go viral or not yeah like any message any comment we mm-hmm. get we share with each other we talk about it for mm-hmm. a couple minutes like wow that feels really good yeah like yeah. i'll just be having a shitty day at work and then i get a message i'm like <sighs> did okay. we ever did we ever shout out dora have we ever shout out a dora shout outed <laughs> <laughs> shout her out <laughs> i just want to shout out dora if we haven't before um, she walked up to us at Angelica's wedding. She's one of Angelica's cousins. Mm-hmm. And that was my first time meeting her. And I remember Angelica was like, this is my cousin. Um, she listens to the podcast. And Dora, like, of course, opened her arms and, like, hugged me. And She's she was like, like oh I love your podcast. Yeah. And I listen every week. And when you guys say that you have to take a break, I'm sad because there's not an episode that week. And I just can't wait till the next one. So I just want to shout you out because that that will always stick with me that conversation we had that specific one because it was kind of like how like when big podcasters like are big they go on public and somebody recognizes them like oh my god let's do your podcast i love it like that's how it felt for me because i didn't know her and of course there are other followers that listen to us that i don't personally know but Mm -hmm. just that experience i'll always remember that that little snippet so that was cool i love that most recently, her youngest sister, Jessica, she also sent me a message and she said, great episode this week. Yes, I remember that. So that was good. Um, it's brought me a lot closer to my cousins yeah. on both sides. And, That's true. You know. Opened up conversations. Yep. Brought us closer to Luis and Brian. Yep. Rob. That's so true. Anthony. Y'all yep. are big supporters. Yep. Shout out, guys. Yeah. All of you. Yeah. So. We've shouted out so many people in this episode, just like in the first one. <laughs> Why am I about to cry right now? No, are you crying? Don't I cry. don't know. It's just so like weird, right? Like we have a podcast. We've been doing this for a year. I know. It almost feels like we're on autopilot. I know. Like, do you I tell can't... people, you, like the first people you meet, like, do you tell me you have a podcast? No. Me either. No, I don't because I know it's not for everybody. So I don't, yeah, exactly. don't want to like hand it off to you and then you not like it and be like, oh. like, I guess I could still like hand it off and be like well if you like it you know stick around but you don't have to i want it to be like i don't tell people and then people like a year later were like wait a minute you had a podcast you have a podcast then they listen they love it it's all over our social media but like if you meet someone for the first time no i don't tell them but i hope to get there one day where i'm like hey you know i have a podcast listen to it did i tell you that one time that i was at the gas station i thought about telling the lady (laughs) the cashier that i have a podcast yeah we just had a good conversation i was like you seem like a a girl i like so here's my podcast you shouldn't have said you could still tell her but not say it's your podcast yeah like have her think it's someone else listen to this podcast you might like it yeah that's a good idea yeah 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 yeah, yeah. mine mine (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my gosh okay um thank you guys so much like it really means a lot it really especially does. going through a really really rough year yeah <laughs> half a year and for this to still be a constant and something that we both still enjoy that's that's really great so yeah, thank you that is important i agree all right you guys happy anniversary! <laughs> that was we, cute we did say in the beginning because i rhymed oh yeah you did <laughs> oh whatever i'll clip it that together Put, just put that at the end. <laughs> I meant for, for social media. Oh, okay. Either way, we'll okay, get one of them. All right. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay.